Hello everyone, welcome to my videos on comics and toys and today we're looking at some Star Wars The Force Awakens new figures I picked up and I picked up the first wave on Force Friday but as Star Wars do, they've released some more now and I've decided to carry on collecting so um, let's have a look what I've got I've got most of the ones that I, I want at the moment I think they're releasing them in bits and bobs so hopefully there'll be some more cooler ones coming out soon but this is one of the two packs I picked up and it is C-3PO C -3PO and R2-D2 of course and the only reason I brought this one is because really uh, 3PO has a red arm which is there and that's to do with the new film so apparently you're going to find out soon in the comic what happened for him to have his arm probably chopped off but yeah it's not too bad for a two pack it's got some horrible big lump of plastic in there that you get but the artwork's really nice and I'm not going to get all of these let's get the dust off there oh my god what dust I'm not going to get all of these but um, there's a couple I wanted to get but uh, so this is the pack and you've got the side view there it's a bit more of R2 and that size nothing and then the back you've got some specs there telling you about R2 and 3PO but I'm sure everybody knows about that <coughs> and then there's the other figures I'm tempted to get the first order um, snow trooper vehicle but I'm not 100% sure yet but I'm not going to get Finn or Kylo Ren in the extra in the bigger version because they just get some horrible toy accessory so yeah these are about now so that's R2 and 3PO next up this one was really hard to get hold of first of all it was only one per case and they were selling for about £35 on eBay and they're only £16 in the shops but now they've become more easily available so this is BB-8 the new droid um, Uncar Fug, whoever that is, I reckon that's him, and Jakku Scavenger, a little thing there. So it's quite a nice set actually, and I haven't done these in the smaller version figures, so that's why I picked this one up. So this one is available um, now, and it's got on the back. I'm not going to get the double figures. You've got Obi Wan and the Clone Commander. They've been released before, and Luke. We've got Ray Speeder, which I'm tempted to get, but I haven't actually seen that anywhere yet. And some nice artwork on the back, as they're indulging in some droid S&M there. So yeah, this is quite a nice figure, this one. Or figure set. So that's not too bad. So that's that set. Next up is the second release of the First Order Stormtrooper. And they've released this one before, but it's got different artwork on it and a different vehicle accessory I, I mainly brought it for the for the artwork and it's nice to have a a double of this figure because they're troop builders which i won't be doing but i thought i'd pick these up so that's the two of them together basically the same he gets a different gun attachment whatever it is i prefer the gun with this one and the artwork is slightly different there we go i'm not sure about the back of it that's just a weapon really what's different there so yeah quite a nice figure some I like these and I'm sure lots of people will be troop building with these figures but that's that one next up is Sarko Plank a very strange name and he looks like some sort of insect thing so hopefully it's going to be stepping on him I don't know if he's a goodie or a baddie I think he's a goodie and there's the back and they've got some of the Star Wars Rebel figures there, which I've not collected in this series. I'm just going to get them in the Rebel series, which I will show in another video. But yep, the Sar there is Sarko Plank, who's just recently come out. Next we have Goss Towers, some little snutty thing there. He looks like a goodie. He looks far too nice to be a baddie. Imagine he's a Rebel um, grunt or something like that. But oh yeah. Must be because he's got the X-Wing uh, fuel line there. So hopefully he will be 
slotting that into the hole of the X-Wing's arsehole very soon. Then we have the X-Wing pilot Asti and apparently he is based on a homage to the Beastie Boys for some reason I saw the other day something to do with his name well, I don't have a clue about that I don't know much about the Beastie Boys but yeah it's quite a nice X-Wing pilot costume got his little gun there and well, if he be good buddies with Nia Num maybe him and Asti will be having a sauna together sometime and they can rub each other's protruding nipples and talk about the good old times when you could milk an alien race member and not feel guilty about it in a homosexual way so that's the old times that's before the empire before the dark side so there we go that's Asti next up is General Hux and he has to be a baddie because he's got the Aryan race look about him and I've seen him in the trailer standing there with a load of stormtroopers so definitely a baddie for this one and he's got his flashing jacket there for any stormtrooper misbehaving he can open it up and show them his um, first order probe so there's General Hux looks interesting character next we have a Gavian Enforcer, I don't know what the fuck that is, maybe it's a Gaviscon Enforcer and anyone that has an upset stomach on the battlefield he can release Gaviscon tablets at will and help their li little dicky dum dums to get better so it looks quite strange, it looks like a super villain so we'll have to see about him but um, yeah quite odd and his head looks, looks like a bit like a hand dryer as well so I hope um, people don't try and dry their pissy hands under his chin so there he is next we have PZ4CO and this droid was basically built for looking over walls for people dogging I think he's got a nice big long neck and you can see what's going on and they're very strange but um yeah have to see what he looks like in the film uh, very old but uh, another droid can't go wrong so there we are so that's it for this video I hope you've enjoyed looking at my Star Wars pickups there's a lot of stuff coming out in the future and I will collect some of it not all of it but um, I'm gonna get the figures so hope you enjoyed the video keep on checking out my collections and I will see you very soon bye